Hello, Quad Flying Fun here, and today we're going to review, or do another review, on the uh, WL Toys uh, V686G. Got it right here. Now you can see that I've got it stripped down, uh, no landing gear on it, no camera, no nothing, just stripped down to the bare bones here. And I'm sure a lot of you saw my initial review of this quad, and uh, I wasn't really um, that impressed with it. Um, actually, I was rather disappointed with it. Um, in FPV mode, I mean, the longest flight time I got, I think, was three and a half minutes. And uh, I had a hard time even getting it into the air. I mean, it was uh, it, it's really, really severely underpowered in its stock form. So I thought about it, and I want to come up with something to uh, really, really uh, make this a better quad. Because it has a really nice design body. It's nice and robust and uh, very... I mean, it's a lot more aerodynamic, and uh, what I did, I started thinking about it, I started thinking about it. I had an H8, uh, JJRC H8C, and I thought about uh, just converting it over with one of those boards in this, because that board will work with any WL Toys transmitter, like the one I've got modified here, and um, one of the reasons, I, another reason I wanted to do that was, was the, I mean, I was getting dropouts. Um, I was only getting out about 100 meters with this, with the stock transmitter, and I was getting dropouts. And uh, I really wasn't that pleased with that either. Now, the FPV camera will drop out. You get out about 100 meters or so, and it'll drop out. But what I'm going to do with it, um, I'm going to uh, get some uh, cloverleaf antennas for the uh, transmitter on the camera and the uh, receiver and uh, see if I can't cure that issue. Now let me talk about the mods that I did here. Um, I put the JJRC um, HHC receiver board in this. Now when you do that you also have to replace your motors. You want to use the uh, JJRC HHC motors in it also. Now to do that you have to, there's a difference on the pinions here the stock motors use an 11 tooth pinion gear and these little quads use a 9 tooth pinion gear so they're actually gearing up the uh, the props on this guy or actually no, it'd be gearing it down they're turning them turning them slower so um, I wanted to stay with that and actually you have to do that because your your center to center distance is set up for the whatever pinion you have on that quad that's what it's set up for so those bigger that bigger gear would not fit this gear here is the same diameter as the uh, JJRC HHC, so if they make this smaller, the motor has to set closer to it to maintain proper uh, engagement, and uh, those those won't work. You have to have the uh, pinion puller to pull them off and put them on here. Not a real big deal, but uh, I will tell you, I did uh, push the top out of a couple motors. One of them I was taken out of another uh, thing and just push the top right out of it. They come out extremely easy. Luckily I had extras so I just uh, got some extras out and uh, got the pinions on them and uh, went with that. Now I've already done a test flight with this. I want to tell you another upgrade I did. I put there's a, uh, let me open up the thing here, there's down here in the bottom the way I set this up the uh, HHC board is a lot smaller than the original board that's in this, so I took an original board and actually copied the holes. Let me pull these wires out of the way. I don't know if you can see it in there. There's a piece of plywood right here, a small piece of plywood that I had for another project. I just traced it out, cut it out the same size as the original board, and then I back drilled the holes into this board so it would fit in here, and then I drilled my holes for my new receiver board and put them on here. You have plenty of room in the top here and since it's more compact it fits right in this little dome right here very nicely. Okay, And uh, then that gives me more room down here on the bottom for this this lot, much bigger battery. This is a nine, 900 milliamp hour battery here. It's called a Scorpion. I bought it on eBay. Um, I'll try to get the link in the uh, in the video also. But uh, it fits in here nice. Now you can see it tucks right in there. And I've got this uh, um, balance charge connector here, which I like a lot better. I've got a really good charger, and I like using these style because it charges the battery a lot better. And uh, now, we'll, now, most everybody knows, but for those that don't, the uh, JGRC HHC is a 7.4 volt setup. And that's what I went up to on this to increase its performance. 
So, and it worked. I mean, I had this out. I tested it earlier to make sure everything was going to go well before I did the video. And I flew it for a long time. It seemed like forever before this battery went down. And like I said before, I was only getting, with the stock battery in this, that 3.7 volt battery, I was only getting about 7 or 8 minutes on it. And with the camera, it was even less. It was only about 4 minutes. The camera really pulls hard on the battery in this. So now my plans are now, um, we're going to do a, a little review on this tonight. I'm going to show you how it flies with this. I probably won't be able to, I mean, I'll do the whole video, but it's really going to be long. So I'll probably edit it out, edit some of the time out of it because it, I mean, if it flies like it did this afternoon, we're going to, it's going to be flying in the air for about 12 minutes. Seemed like an eternity before the LVC come on. But what I'm going to do with the camera now, um, since I've switched the board in it, and this does not have the right connector for that uh, camera, what I'm going to do, and I'm going to use my camera on my uh, tarantula too, my um, uh, X6 tarantula, I'm going to use this balance plug to power the camera. Because the problem with these, you don't get enough voltage out of them to run that camera for some reason. So I'm just going to make a plug and come off of here. You need 4.4 volts. Well, if you use these two wires right here off your balance plug, you've got 4.4 volts right here. So I'm just going to make, I'm going to have this uh, maybe hanging out or I'll run the other one inside and just plug it in and tuck it in here and then close the door. That's how I'm going to solve the voltage problem on this and my uh, tarantula. And I'll still be able to use, if I put this, this is a three pin plug here, but only two of these do anything. There's one that turns the camera on and off, or uh, takes pictures, and then the other one turns the video on and off. That's all it does is go to ground. So all I have to do is find the right one for that, and I'm good to go. And I'll still be hooked up on the board, so all that will still work. And then I'll power the camera straight off the battery. Now I'm hoping, you know, since I got such good flight time that even with the camera on it, you know, it'll pull it down some. Maybe I'll get a seven or eight minute flight time um, doing some FPV with this guy because that's what I originally bought it for. I wanted to use this and my tarantula to do some FPV flying. And I've got goggles. I'm going to go through those. And uh, I'm actually going to put it on my head. I bought a piece to uh, put that on my head and uh, make a true FPV setup instead of the screen thing on the transmitter. That works okay, but it's not real doesn't work real well when you're out in uh, bright sunlight. So let's, and one other added bonus to this, if you use the HHC, you get a nice uh, on-off switch down here. You can see I've got the camera, or the quads plugged in in here. I don't even have to unhook it and pull the battery out to charge it now. You just turn it off and uh, plug that into my balance charger and you're good to go. So let's get this guy turned on. Look there. Nice on-off switch on there now. So we'll set her down on here. Let her stop rocking for a second. Get our transmitter turned on. Fine, she's bound. Go to 100%. And uh, now one thing I did notice, I'm getting a slight wobble out of this when it's in flight. You can hear it kind of flutter every now and then. It doesn't really degrade the flight performance and I don't know why it's doing it. I don't know if there's a diff. This board was calibrated to those props spinning faster or what, but it's got a slight oscillation to it, but it doesn't really seem to hurt its flight performance or anything, so. Um, like I said this afternoon, I had this guy out flying it and uh, did extremely well. So let me get my watch set here. Get that. Oops. Tighten that up. And reset my watch. Okay. And let's start the watch. Okay. Let's let's fly. And you probably could see it wobble just a little. Hear it? Hear that shimmy in it when it's when it's flying? Now, it does not seem to affect how it flies. It seems to fly just fine even with that. But you can see now this thing's got lots more power. Lots more power. I mean I'm I'm a lot happier with it. And the flight times that I'm getting out of it is is great. It seems to have that shimmy in it when I use the yaw. It you can hear it now when it's just uh, flying straight. So you can hear the motors on this. It has lots more power now than it had. And I've got that little 900 uh, milliamp battery. It's got some weight to it. I'm going to have to get a weight on it and see how much it weighs. But the performance is so much better like this. I mean, this thing, I mean, it can't compete with my tarantula. That tarantula is just a beast. It, it's just way, way overpowered. But this is a huge step up from where this quad was before. See if we can do some manual flips here. 
No, nope, didn't catch it right. Now, the one thing that I did, they had the battery door in the front in the original configuration. You can see it's, you know, to that angle, it's flying backwards, but eh, doesn't bother me any. As long as I know I can keep my orientation, I really don't care where it's at. Doesn't really matter. Let's get some altitude here, see if we can do some manual flips with this guy. Okay, here we go. Full forward pitch, pull back, let off. Oh yeah, there we go. No, oh, didn't hit it. I was out here earlier, I had a little bit of wind. I come down wind with it and do the manual flips to do it with ease. Come on, come on. Oh, didn't hit it right. Some of these little quads, it's it's hard to get them to do them manual flips like that. But I'll tell you what, I'm really uh, really like the way this set up now. This is nice, and it'll give that 900 milliamp hour battery is going to give it so much more flight time with the camera on it. Them little 3.7 volt batteries, just I don't know. I guess if you're just starting out and they've got you're using them, it's okay. Actually, I didn't try to do any flips with this earlier. Let me get some altitude here. We'll pull off of it just a little bit. Let's get some altitude and we'll try to do some uh, flips with this guy with the button. 